That's right, UFC fans. UFC 297 is one of the worst cards in UFC history. This card is so unbelievably terrible that for the first time in like, I can't even remember how long, the UFC is offering a discount to buy the pay-per-view. Jesus Christ, man. If you're going to an international venue, make the card better, guys. What the hell is going on? I know a bunch of fights got canceled. The Reyes fight got canceled. The Blahovich rakish fight got canceled. But still, this card needed to be a lot more stacked than it is. Let's break down this card and just let you guys know how absolutely poop this card is. If you haven't yet, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, ring those notification bells so you can get all my updates on the UFC, the NFL, and all kinds of sports. First things first, guys, I want to talk about how this card originally looked. Even that card was pretty terrible, and now it's just an absolute abomination. They should just make it like free on ESPN to charge people for this card. If it does 200,000 pay-per-view buys, I would be shocked. All right, originally it was Sean Strickland and Duplassi. I like that main event. Then we had the co-main event, Raquel Pennington versus Myra Buena Silva for the vacant bantamweight championship. Raquel Pennington is one of the most boring fighters in the UFC. Before her recent, you know, five-fight win streak that she's on right now, she was like pretty much a 500 fighter. I like Myra Buena Silva. Is she a superstar? Absolutely not. And then I love this fight. Arnold Allen versus Mavzar Ivalov. And then Neil Magny and Mike Malott. I get they want to put a Canadian on this card. But Neil Magny, man, he's been so bush as of late, guys. Look at his record. He has been absolutely terrible. Lost to Gary. Split decision win over Phil Rowe, who's not very good. Lost to Gilbert Burns. He beat Rodriguez. Then he lost to Shavkat. Beat Max Griffin, lost to Silva. He like wins a fight, loses a fight, wins a fight, loses a fight. He's pretty much a 500 fighter at this point in his career. I don't want to watch 500 fighters fight on the main card of an international pay per view. Put this fight on the main event of the prelims and stack this card with better fights. I think the UFC is having a lot of trouble. Look at UFC 299. They're having a lot of trouble getting fighters to fight in these international cards because a lot of Americans, especially when they go to Abu Dhabi or they go to Canada, you have to deal with all the bullshit of getting there. And Canada has a lot of really strict immigration laws, so it's a pain in the ass to get there. They have really high taxes. So UFC has to kind of re-strategize where they want to take fighters internationally because it's got to make sense. A lot of these fighters who are coming up, they're getting more and more business savvy. So they don't want to go to Abu Dhabi three weeks before and you know lose a fight overseas like when you fight in Abu Dhabi, the weather's really different, the elevation's different, and then they have another card in Mexico City. I know UFC fans love their Mexican fighters, but fighting there in elevation could hinder your performance. I think that's what's kind of happening with UFC 297. I don't think people want to deal with the bullshit to go to Canada with the high taxes, the bullshit with the immigration, getting your team there. It's a big pain in the ass, and that's why this card is, it sucks, man. Originally, we had two main event Fights canceled. Blahovich and Rakic. Blahovich got hurt. He fucked up that shoulder. So that fight got canceled. And then like last week, Dominic Reyes and Carlos Yulberg got canceled. Olberg got hurt. It doesn't look like Reyes is getting booked. But Reyes has not been a good fighter either. Another guy that he was good three years ago. But he's lost like what? Four out of five fights. He looks a shell of himself, man. And he's on the main card of this UFC pay-per-view. He's not a pay-per-view fighter, man. He's a prelims fighter. Why are all these bums fighting on the main card? There's two good fights on this card. And now I'm going to show you guys what the card looks like now. So they have Arnold Allen and Ivalev opening the card. Great idea. This should be a great fight. I'm really excited to see who wins this fight. This is the only fight I actually really even care about. I don't even care about this strickland Duplessis fight. It's going to be all right, but I think it's going to be one of those fights that we think is really good, and it's going to be like a drawn-out, boring fight. And then Chris Curtis and Beriut is on the main card now. Chris Curtis is on the main card of a pay-per-view. Neil Magny and Malat, another fight that is just turds. And then Pennington and Buena Silva, that's going to be another snooze fest. Pennington is a really boring fighter. Unless Buena Silva goes out and starches her in like the first round, this is going to be a super boring fight. A super boring card. So boring, in fact, that ESPN was like, oh my god, 
These numbers are so incredibly terrible that we have to give you a $10 coupon for a UFC pay-per-view. The first pay-per-view in over a month. When you have a January card after the long layoff from December, this should be a banger. Let fans know they're going to have a great year with pay-per-view cards, and you come out with this fucking turd. Ugh, I feel bad for UFC fans. In fact, I think this card is so bad that they're not even going to break 200,000 pay-per-view buys. There's a reason that this discount... I haven't seen a discount in forever, man. This card sucks. I feel bad for Strickland and Duplessis. Strickland's getting his first pay-per-view points, and it's going to be an absolute shit show. So if he loses, that sucks for him. He's not going to get pay-per-view points anymore. And, oh, man, it's just a really bad card. I'm not excited about it. They should just let it go for free because if it does below 150, even 100,000 pay-per-view buys, I wouldn't be surprised. That's how unbelievably terrible this card is. Maybe two good fights that are pay-per-view worthy. The Eva Lob, Allen fight, and the main event are pay-per-view worthy, but none of the other fights should even sniff a pay-per-view main card. They're all prelim fights. I feel bad for Canada. And then, to make matters worse, I was watching some content from other MMA creators, and one of the guys was saying that this pay-per-view card is astronomically expensive to go to. Like, the nosebleeds. Worst seats in the house are going for like $500, $450 per ticket. Holy shit. Who the hell in their right mind would pay $500 to sit on Mount Everest to watch this pay-per-view card, man. Come on, you gotta be shitting me. Dana White, you stacked UFC 299. Why couldn't some of those fighters fought potentially on this card? I don't know if you're having a hard time getting fighters to want to go to Canada. It sure seems like it, but hopefully the fights will be a little more exciting. A lot of the times we hate cards. The fights are actually pretty exciting, but there's no chance in hell I'm paying any money for this card. I'll see the you know highlights on Twitter. It's not worth buying. These fights are trash. Let me know in the comments below. Are you buying this pay-per-view card? Do you think it should be scrapped as a pay-per-view and a free event for all UFC fans? That's the way you kick off the year. We know we're doing a crap job, so we're going to give it to you for free. And this way, maybe UFC 298 and UFC 299, those cards will be stacked and the pay-per-view numbers will be a lot better. We'll see what happens. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.